Spooktober day eight, I think. Anyway, so I'm getting, I'm already started my day. I made myself a frappuccino. It's frozen now because I went to do something and I came back to it and now it's frozen. But this next clip will show a little bit of how I made it. It's my second time making it. It actually turned out pretty good. So mocha frappuccino, uh, decaf, sugar-free. Uh, that I usually order from Starbucks, but I made it myself. Didn't turn out right the first time, and it turned out right this time. But it's frozen now, so. All right, so here's the next clip. We'll show you how I made it. Ultimate coupon lady here. Okay, guys, here's my attempt to make uh, a uh, sugar-free decaf mocha frappuccino again. I've got some... Um, heavy whipping cream in here in the blender um, some um, iced coffee what is that espresso cubes I have some actual Starbucks sugar free um, mocha that I got from Starbucks let's see take the lid off anyway it's in here guys um, and what else do I have in here I'm going to put some uh, eat some Splenda, two Splenda packets in here. So we'll see how it goes. So I have the Splenda in there. And then I'm going to put the top on this. Trying not to show my messy kitchen. Um, and so I'm going to use, the, I guess, the chop feature first or the pulse. Let's see. And it's going to be loud, so you might want to turn your speakers down. Let's see. Let's do this ball. Oh, I think I need, need to put some more cream All right, in. guys, success. <laughs> it's a nice uh, texture. After it took me forever to try and get it. Let's see if I can oh, it's, um, blend it. Uh, where's my fork? It's a nice consistency. It's the same consistency as... When I get it at uh, at Starbucks. Mmm. And it tastes good too, but a lot more work, and I made a big mess because, like an idiot, I was sticking the fork in the blender, trying to chop. And it got caught in one of the blades. So I got, um, I have a uh, frappuccino everywhere, even up here on my cabinet. So I really got a lot of cleaning to do. And it's on my, uh, my chicken there. And I forgot to show you guys while I was making that, but I'll let you know how to make it. Okay, so here's the finished product. Oops, after it settles a little bit. Oh. oh no! <laughs> oh my gosh, those how do those Starbucks people do it? That's why I pay them to do it. Oh my gosh, this is okay. This is just my second time making this, so it's come out a lot better. Oh, there's a lot in there too. It's a lot left. Have to measure it next time. Probably just put this in the freezer, the excess, and now I'm gonna make myself some whipped cream. So there's still a lot left in there. I don't know if you can see that. A ton left in there. So put that either in the fridge or the freezer. So now I'm gonna make my uh whipped cream topping. Such a, oh my gosh, it's so messy. You can't see it, but I got a big old spill right in front of here. Yeah, now I know why I pay them the money to make it. Oh my gosh, really? Okay. So, I'm going to move this out of the way. Looks good, though. Mmm. 
tastes good too. Okay, so, alright, I have my bowl ready. Um, and my heavy, and my mixer I have with the whisk attachment. And have my, I didn't chill the bowl this time like I did last time. Um, let's see if it works as well. And I'm using less cream. I'm not measuring it. It looks like about maybe a fourth cup or a third cup. Where's the lid? Of heavy whipping cream. And then I don't know how much blender to use. I'm using, I'm sorry, Stevia. I've never used this before. I ran out of Splenda. And so when I was at the store last night, I just went ahead and bought this Stevia because I've always wanted to try it. So um, I'm going to try a few squirts. Maybe one squirt. Maybe two. There we go. So we'll see. And then I'm just going to whisk this until it becomes... <laughs> slow and then I whisked it a little more and I was getting more more thick to the consistency that I wanted and there you have it alright just put this And there we have it. A Starbucks drink. Mocha Frappuccino with whipped cream. Say six dollars, but <laughs> it took a lot of time. Okay guys, so here is the crock pot chicken that I made. I said I was gonna make uh, this week, um, I didn't, I forgot to film it. it, I made it last night, I was so tired, I just grabbed the, uh, chicken out of the, the, uh, freezer, let it thaw, and this morning, did I make it, yeah, I made it early this morning, and I w forgot to record it, but basically, all it is, is, um, four chicken legs, you can make more, and of course, in a bigger crock pot, it's just me, so I make, you know, smaller servings. Um, so it's just chicken legs. I have some butter in there. I have about uh, probably a whole stick of butter. And then I have this Memphis style barbecue seasoning. Uh, Memphis style barbecue seasoning. You can use any seasoning that you want. Um, it has like salt in it and it, it's got everything salt, chili powder, cayenne pepper, yeah, okay, and that, and actually, it says Greenbrier, so I must have got it from the dollar store, I don't remember getting it from the dollar store, but maybe I guess I did, okay, so I have that in it, and then I put a little bit of garlic powder in it, and of course, oops, great value, that's, um, um, Walmart, and then I put some mixed onions and I have another bag of those uh, no I don't have another bag but it's mixed uh, green peppers onions green peppers and red peppers it's a frozen mix so I put about a half a bag of those and then I just put the um, top over it and just let it cook for four and a half hours actually 
probably cooked for about four hours. And, you know, it just, the chicken is tender and falling off the bone. And it's enough liquid, it actually turns almost into a soup. And it's really, really good, guys. It's really good. Okay. So, that's how I made that. And um, it's actually really good. So, I don't know whether to eat it with a eat it with a uh, fork or a spoon so I'll eat it with both it actually eats like a meal mmm it's really good and this is something good to make um, you know because the weather is about to change here in the states anyway in the northern states the weather's about to change and get cold, so it makes for a really hearty, warm meal. And it's absolutely delicious. So something, something very simple to make. I don't have a recipe for it, just chicken legs, about a stick of butter, um, the Pepper, half a bag of uh, the um, peppers and onion mixture and seasoning, seasoning of your choice. I hope you try and make it and let me know how it goes. And yes, that is Christmas music that I'm listening to in the background. I love listening to Christmas music. It's already October. Um, I just like listening. I love the Christmas holiday, so I start listening to Christmas music very early. When I was working in sales, for a florist, I actually started listening to Christmas music in July because we had to sell the Christmas product way ahead of time. So enjoy. I hope I don't get any copy copyright infringements though. All right, so I'm going to run a few errands. One, I gotta go pick up my mom. I thought I'd take you guys with me. All right, so let's see how mm -hmm. this is working. So okay. I'm running a few errands, got to get some gas, um, got to go to the Dollar Tree and pick up a few things, a couple things, and basically that's it. My dinner is made already. Um, well, my one meal I haven't eaten yet, I've just tasted off of that meal, um, and I had my coffee in the form of the uh, Frappuccino. Oh, you just ran that light. Um, what else? Oh, I need to get some uh, smart water, some kind of electrolyte water because I've been feeling kind of dehydrated. And I know I'm feeling dehydrated when I um, feel a little bit like kind of dizzy and lightheaded because I've been drinking more coffee than water. And then I need to get some potassium in. So I need to get some uh, electrolytes in as well so that's what I'll be picking up too some uh, smart water and I'm not looking at you because I'm uh, driving here and made the light good yeah so that's what's on the agenda today oh yeah duh I'll probably hopefully be going salsa dancing again tonight I have a, um, a small group that's supposed to be going and then I also meet friends out there and then I have another friend that might join me out there so if I get a chance to go salsa dancing I'll um, get some footage in there um, but that's later tonight so yeah um, I'll talk to you all a little bit later okay so we're going to come out to $19.10 for you Alright guys, so I just dropped my mom off at work um, and just went to the Dollar Tree, um, got a few things, just a few things. I went in there for some electric light water and just some essentials that I needed, but I saw that they had, oh and I needed some more uh, Splenda, I buy my Splenda from the Dollar Tree. I saw that they had uh, plain pork rinds. I've eaten pork rinds before for a snack, um, but I got kind of tired of them. But I was like, 
you know, the things that they sell at Taco Bell, like those cinnamon twists, they have cinnamon and sugar. I was like, I wonder if those will work with pork rinds. So I bought some plain pork rinds and I have the Splenda and I have cinnamon at home. So I'm going to make a um, cinnamon and sugar pork rinds and see if they taste decent, you know, as a dessert. Um, I've had some low carb um, bread from Joseph's and I um, toasted that in a skillet and I, I toasted it with butter in a skillet so that it would be, become like a cracker. It's really, really flat bread. And I sprinkled some cinnamon and Splenda on it and it was really, really good as a snack. So I'm gonna try it with the pork rinds because it'll be zero carbs with the pork rinds and the only carbs will come from the, uh, uh, from the Splenda and if there's any carbs in cinnamon, I'm not sure. So we'll let you know how it goes.